hey, you've been having sleepless nights. Yep. Sure I don't want to talk about it? <laughs> Trust me, Dan. I don't think I'd be able to tell you without you pissing yourself. Come on, Steven. It can't be that bad. All right. What if I told you that Michael Myers lifted himself up, headless, by the way, picked up his decapitated head and fits it back on his shoulders? Well, I'd probably say that's, well, impossible. Spoke too soon, I'm afraid. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 Michael Kill. Do you really want to know a story? Will I wet myself? <laughs> well, I don't know the full story. But it's said that when Michael was little, he didn't have a very good personal life. His stepfather abused him. His sister Judith treated him like crap. And his mom was prostituting herself. He was even bullied at school. Really bad. And so, one Halloween night, he went downstairs into the kitchen, pulled out the biggest knife in the drawer. Silently walked into his sister's bedroom and stabbed her. What about his mom? Did he kill her too? No, I don't think so. What happened to her? I don't know. Some people say she vanished. But others say that she killed herself because of the monstrosity her son had become. Do you believe that? <sighs> nah. There is something I do believe in, though. Michael doesn't do what he does just for sport. Uh, I think that there is a reason as to why he killed people. <clears throat> yeah. I think I need to check my pants. Good luck with that. Anyway, uh, I'd best be off. It's getting kind of late. Uh, yeah, sure, go ahead. Yeah, 
Um, so, uh, I'll see you tomorrow then. Could you do the world a favor and get rid of that stupid poster? Hi there. It's Steven, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I've seen you wander up and down these streets many times over the past year, clueless and scared, while the ads has been so close to your face. Who are you? Me? I'm an enigma. A voice of reason. You know, someone call me... An extremist, a terrorist of some sort. What do you think? Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave, crazy guy. Oh, you can leave, but you'll never forget how to kill him. Kill who? Oh, Steven, I think we both will answer that one. Michael Myers. Bullshit. I killed him. Steven, when will you learn? You can't just kill pure evil. What do I do then? Have you ever heard of the Curse of Thorn? Well, legend has it that voodoo witch kings around the coast of the South Pacific conjured this curse to stop evil spirits from destroying their village. So it kills evil? No, not just evil. It kills everything. So how do we stop it? Well. Legend also has it that the Witch Kings crafted a dagger, which is said to stop the curse from spreading. Where can I find this dagger? Now, Stephen, I can't tell you that. You have to figure that one out on your own. But... Good evening, Haddonfield. Missing from the morgue, according to Jim Rapano, one of Smith Grove Cemetery Undertakers, as he discovered that one of the bodies had disappeared, as well as the body of one of his colleagues, lying dead in a pool of his own blood. The body, currently missing from the morgue, was later identified as the infamous mass murderer Michael Myers, who was said to be killed back in 2008 on Halloween night. Police are now investigating the incident and are very confused about the situation.
Rapano reported that he seen what looked like blood-stained footprints leading outside of the morgue and onto the main road. Hello, sir or madam, we are the home inspection unit. We are here to check this house because, according to this form, it is a potential danger to the surrounding area. And I don't think there's anyone here. I don't think there's anyone here. Probably out. We live in a shithole like this anyway. True. Anyway, we better get this over with. We'll get lunch in like ten minutes. Yeah, yeah, I think we should. So, uh, what are we having for lunch anyway? Coffee? Coffee? And more freaking coffee. Nice. Do realize. 
is where we are, right? Well, if I take a guess, will you give me 50 bucks? Very funny. We're in the Mars. No way. Spooky, isn't it? This is the Myers house. The one Judith Myers was murdered in, right? So, that's the drawer he got his knife from? Yes, whatever. Get back to work, man, boy. Is that you? Steven, why are you up so early? Look, I don't know how I'm gonna 
explain this, but we're going back to the Myers house. You're joking. No, I'm not. I thought we'd never go back there, let alone talk about it. Look, Dan, when I left your apartment a couple of nights ago, there was this guy. He never told me his name, but he's told me about this curse and that there's this dagger which can be used to kill it. Steve, but didn't we all learn something about talking to strangers? Look, Michael Myers is possessed by this curse. He always has been since the night he killed his sister. Remember that story I told you? Anyway, I did research last night. The curse is said to make whoever possesses it become immortal. If this guy was right, maybe we can use this dagger to finish him off. What are you talking about? Dan, I'm serious about this. It may sound like something out of a sci-fi flick, but it's not. Just hurry up and get dressed. I'll meet you outside later. Sure about this? Yeah. Did you call him? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Good. Wait. What if you 2.com back? And it's up to you to finish the job. springs into mind.
nice timing. Thought you could use some help. And I owed him a couple of bullets. So, uh, how's the... How's the wound? All good. Good, good. Well, are you going to finish him or not? Yeah. Halloween.
Where's Stephen? What if you two don't come back? And it's up to you to finish the job. Yeah.